I would be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? Not none you know my dad walk on. Say, man, these guys right here, man, pulled up on us, man. The radio station in the building, man. Check it, man. These yeah, boys yeah. serious, man. They here, man. In the building. These skilling Don Perrion's in the building, man. What's going on? What's popping? Hey, Woo! blessings, man. Appreciate it. I love the intro, bro. Well, I, was I, mean, I was like, okay. I still love the intro. Yeah. Man, y'all do this every day, nigga. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. But last time, when uh, I think the first time Jay Cruz came, I had just opened this thing up. Yeah. And I started sparring with that nigga right here. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Uh, what you got, Jay-Z tatted on your arm, nigga? Oh, man. <laughs> He like, no, nah, don't don't do that, man. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I just I, I was just you know just playing, and, and I did the same thing with Vita Loca. Like it's just like okay, you know I love to talk, so it don't really matter to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I can go. Like I don't care who it is. So at the end of the day, man, it was dope to even get them in our presence too. And we've been working our way through the radio. Wait, hot, shout out to my boy, man, Space Boy Fresh. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like like you guys, man. You know, um, you guys are, are still doing the radio thing. How did you get? Into it actually, I live one. I, either one of y'all can go down there. Okay. Which that one, it don't matter. Um, so so really, um, man, the radio station found me in the strip club. Like I was one of the first the strip club DJs uh, back in 2017. Um, they found me there. They broadcasted every weekend, and I had got the opportunity to DJ um, in the strip club on the weekends. I, would, I was at a little hole in the wall club, Dallas Cabaret North, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It, y'all may know something about that. Yeah, 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 y'all niggas were wicked out there. Yeah, man, it, it was crazy. So I was there, um, I graduated college in 2014, and um, yeah, man, my first club was at D, uh, Cabaret North. Shout out to my guy DJ Chubb, uh, both of the Chubbs, because uh, they the ones who linked me in, and, and they got me in and done some OGs in the game, and they gave me the game, and I started working my way up, and finally uh, got a chance to work on the weekends, and the radio station broadcasted every Weekend on Saturdays, and so mm-hmm. once they saw me, they was like, "Who is this new little guy in the in the club, man? We got to get him on at the station." So yeah. that that's how I got on. The they radio. say he had real turntables too. Yeah, I had big toe turntables in the club. They yeah. like, "Who is this?" Thank what you. about you, Peace? I mean, I'm, uh, I'm originally from St. Louis, so uh, St. Louis. I went to college in Grambling in '08, and I was uh, pretty much the tiger, the mascot. You feel me? So coming, and I was the networker, stay for a class the weekend, senior year. So that's how I really kind of got in. I just put my put my foot in the door, like, "Hey, I'm gonna be graduating soon. I'm trying to come get a job." I was talking to 104 at the time. And then I talked to 979 at the same time. So then, boom, I had some uh, some recommendations that got me in. I told him I hit him with an email, like, I'm on my way to Dallas. What I got to do? She said, let me know when you get here. Boom. I came out here uh, January 14th. Uh, what was that, uh, 2014? So I've been out here eight years. So from four years there, four years at the uh, beat. You know what I'm saying? So it just got speed, man. Came in on the street team, worked my way up. You know what I'm saying? Like going to spots with Jay, Cat Daddy. You know what I'm saying? They not show up. I, I've been hosting the hype in my whole life type thing. You feel me? So then, boom, I just kept networking. And then next thing you know, I got on air the same time Mike Brown got killed from St. Louis, like Ferguson, you feel me? So like Northside, North County, like, like grinding, you feel mm. me? Boom, shoot, kept grinding. Then next you know, I got on air, signed my paperwork. Then then I did a song, slide in challenge. And then next you know, the beat hit me with a phone call. Like after the, after Lancaster Band played it, I went out there to perform, did what I did. I got a phone call saying, can I sit down and talk? And that was four years ago. You know what I'm saying? I've been sitting down talking ever since. Wow. Can't Man. believe you said you were the mascot? Yeah, Grambling. Man, wasn't that hot? <laughs> hey, you get paid for it though, so yeah, had to work with it. Yeah. I always want. I'm like, I know them suits be hot. <laughs> yeah, I be. I you. I, I ain't. You know, that's one of my little jokes. I use. You know, certain niggas be around me just a mascot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't get to really just run down the field yeah. seriously. That's real. But yeah. I need them because without them, I can't have a good time. There you go. Thanks. Y'all ain't ready, man. Y'all Come on, man. Ready. Come on you got it. Hey, you, you mean, y'all got it, got it. Let's stop playing with them. <laughs> so, man, like, like how, how is the radio world today versus, you know, used to, uh, in order, you know, for uh, an artist to be seen or whatever, they, they wanted to be heard on the radio. But I know it's not as extensive as it used to be. But how right. much impact do you feel like? the radio gives today's you know uh and i know you guys are going to be a little biased but still give me your spiel on it uh just just let me know well um well i feel like you know i'm saying like and this is just real talk you know i'm saying is is the radio is pretty much it stamps you as a superstar back in the day like you didn't have social media you know i'm saying to to know you was a superstar you heard your song on the radio now you got tiktoks you got different ways you can go viral and be seen but all the radio do is really stamps that you are a superstar that you have proven that your song and your single has 
gotten these amount of views and it's changing lives and it's doing X, Y, and Z. And you know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like it, people will say we don't need radio now because we got different outlets to be heard. Yeah. It's not just with the radio, you know what I'm saying? But that's still like the Mecca. That's still where labels and that's the, still the dream. The American dream is to have my song played and heard on the radio and throughout the, the world. And the catch is we in Dallas, you feel me? We, we in the top four of the nation, like the top four Metroplex of a million people, you feel me? So the radio well, What's the other three? Uh, you got New, you got New York. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You want to take it over to the uh, West Coast, Cali, California, you know Philadelphia, Chicago. And yeah, even five. though Houston, yeah, Houston, I just want to ask you because well, yeah, what about Houston? Houston, we big. bigger than Houston because we got people on top of us, left, right, and then of course Houston. So under you us. feel like y'all bigger than no, Houston? No, 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 no. On, 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 <laughs> side, on, 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 on the side, on the side, yeah, the, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, this ain't yeah, this ain't one of Erica Banks' situations. <laughs> 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 We're going to Texas next weekend for the Texas Green Picnic. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put on. Are you, are you, are you shout to the bros? Man. So <laughs> you you basically, you know, you hear a song. You mm -hmm. like the song. Old Boy Prince shouted y'all out because he said you guys really ride for them, play their music. How do you play their music if they, you know, if it's not a part of the spins? How do you aggressively get, or can you, do you have that ability to play a new artist's music if you like it? The internet is the truth. If, if Lil Wayne's daughter say you the truth, and I love y'all videos, and she reposts you, that's content, and that's like putting on for Texas, and that's what 97.9 about, you know what I'm saying, as far as putting in for the community, and then we like the faces of the community, so that's the community dancing to. If the whole community doing this dance right here, I don't be hit it, you gotta hit it one time. You, feel <laughs> you like, gotta do it, I you did it in me? here, you yeah. didn't see what I did in there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I messed that whole up, didn't I? <laughs> hey, look. got you. Like, is, but man. but the main thing is it's like I think we're a new generation and we're a new face and so we came up hearing what the radio stations didn't do and wouldn't do and man like I feel like this is my calling you know some people got different um, reasons you know what I'm saying to be in radio so um, I feel like this was my calling was to always help and try to use my platform to help people so when we see people like C4S that's putting in the work that's doing the numbers that helps us be able to go and fight for them to our PD to where I don't know back then they don't know if people was really fighting for people if people mm -hmm. just didn't see the talent but like I know for us you know we see the talent we out here we seeing the work and if we if we can do what we can do we gonna try to help you you know what I'm saying it, it ain't got nothing to do with because no you've met people who've been doing this in doing what you're doing before you right, right? Yeah. so have they ever said like man we couldn't do that when it was our time back in the days you didn't hear them stories uh not so much I, I heard they used to make a lot of money back in the day yeah, that's that's what I heard. You know, so you're not making like, a lot of money now. No, we do off the muscle, off the heart. Yeah, you feel yeah me? Like, we, we want to like, see the city win. You feel me? Like I, I knew three before we had the change. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been around here enough to see. Oh, that's all Dallas gotta do. Be the next ATL. That's all we gotta do is just come together, just a little bit. Fat Pimp got the juice right now. You know what I'm saying? He been had the juice. He need more credit. B King, he the man. But Dallas dancers made B King song go crazy on TikTok, and that's when Drake saw it, mm -hmm. and that's when Drake put B King on and. Life changed right. out of Dallas. So how do you think Dallas can come together and make Dallas great? Because that's one thing we've been wondering. Dang. We've been like, who can really, because we always feel like it needs one person or a group of people who can really merge the city right. together. Um, I, I, it, it's the structure. That's that's really all. We got the talent. It, it's the structure. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like Atlanta, they have a structure. They know, like, everyone knows what to do and how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, in Dallas, what I see coming up, you got... A lot of people that you know that's either to themselves you got a lot of people that feel like you know they may be hollywood that they ain't got to do certain things um you got a lot of people that oh i don't rock with this person so i'm not gonna go rock with right. that person you know what i'm saying it's like a lot of it's, it's a lot of negative in, in but dallas i need to go it, exactly yeah. you know what I'm saying? and that's why it's like we the new school so we coming into it and we seeing it and we just trying to do what we can do to show that new face and show that like we not really with that you know what i'm saying and we trying to Put this structure, help put this structure together, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, because it used to be like, if they see you messing with somebody, they don't want to mess with you because they don't mess with that person. But I see I see changing slowly but surely where people are like, well, they mess with both of us and they sort of cool, so, you know, it's okay yeah. as long as you're not putting them in that situation where that person is around when they're around and right. stuff like that, so. Right, exactly, and exactly. David Banner just left, uh, like, last week, you right. know what I'm saying, physically. He, was y'all out there? But no, he, we he didn't had, get the invitation, he, so. Yeah, I got the next one. Yeah, I got the next one, because I ain't know. I went on I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you know, we go where we're wanted. And <laughs> 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 we 
<laughs> whoever want us, we want them. If you don't want us, we definitely don't want you. For so sure. if you call, we coming. If it's love, then because a lot of times we just not linked. We don't yeah, know. That's, exactly. it, that's, it. that's right. how it is. But you guys definitely get, are doing what you're supposed to do. You know, I really don't just want to be hanging around no, nobody. I want a person to come on this platform. And I know you got to build relationships, but damn, I mean, you you see us out here, nigga. <laughs> yes, sir. So, Whoever that nigga might be. So let me, so let me ask you, um, the right. big three, because I saw you with Ice Cube. Yes, ma'am. So how was that? Like, it's, it's, it's major. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, Dallas is just that city who show love. And it's like three parts of Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Not to get off topic, but it's like you got the street Dallas. Then you got the internet Dallas. Then you got, like, the deep Elm side. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's, it's really more than that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just... It, it, was, it was it was a big thing because Ice Cube he obviously got love for the city and for right. him to be here for this last little seven weeks, you know what I'm saying? It, it's nothing but grace. You know what I'm saying? Shaq live here. I know. was about to say that yeah. Shaq live here. Yeah, so you know, a lot of people coming into Dallas. Exactly. Um, a lot of businesses are moving to Dallas. Thanks. So it's like Dallas. People are getting on to realize that Dallas is the next city because even like we've been interviewing like a lot of entertainers mm -hmm. and they say that. Um, to get really big, you have to have to come through Dallas. Got to. Excellent. That's to get exposure. Like I said, it's the number five market. And right. And it's a it's a gift and a curse because it's like with being a number five market, it's a lot harder to get on in Dallas because we're competing with the Los Angeles, the Philadelphia's. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. the, the Atlanta's like number seven or eight. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying. They're not even so they can they can get away with a plan a lot more used local to? artists. Uh, they may be like. They may, they may be like I don't know I gotta say They may be six Six, six. Yeah, like six. They not too far from us yeah. You know what I'm saying But yeah I think DFW They, they count the whole D Dallas, Fort Worth You know Euless Waco Waco like it, like, We almost push out to, to But a region. lot of local artists Always say that um, In order for them To get recognition Pretty sure They get more love Outside the city Than they get In the city Why is that? That, that's everywhere. It's everywhere. That's, that's everywhere. What I that's like too. that's that's really everywhere. That's everyone's problem, and it's and it's almost one of those things to where it's like I go outside the city, I get more love. It it it, it convinces where your home at that oh he really hot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I I feel like we tend to oh he from the city. It, it's one of those mm -hmm. things like people ain't gonna believe until you till you make it. But a lot of people keep comparing their city. I'm not gonna say just te just Dallas though because I know a lot of other cities who do the same thing. They compare their city to Atlanta mm -hmm. because they feel like Atlanta support their own. Well, right. compared I, to every other city no, that that's don't. No, not what Mr. Hit that. Mr. Hit that said it's not. It just looks can be deceiving. Uh huh. Right. Like you For know, sure. it's, it's not exactly what you might think. You know what I mean? Uh, they have their issues as well. Exactly. But at the end of the day, they just keep them within or something like that. He said. Right. But like like the system again. They have a system and musically, and they they got the labels there. They got this is a music mecca. You know what I'm saying? Dallas is not a music city. This is a a sports city. This is a, a money making city. You know what I'm saying? To where culturally Atlanta is music. You know what I'm saying? So they have a lot more connections and they got a lot more structure to get things in place. Like we don't have a major record label here in Dallas that could help put on. We don't have a lot of music elements here in Dallas. So if, that's why they say if you make it out of Dallas, you can make it anywhere because it's tough coming out this bit. You know what I'm saying? So Well, it's, it's because of, of what you just said. You got to have some labels. You got to have some people that even if it is, I mean, you got you got my boy Radio Raheem. You got yeah, some people here. Yeah, that's not, 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 not my brother. You, you know, you got and some, Sean Cotton just started his label. You got, you got label. Sean Cotton. Exactly. You got some people that's really trying to develop some things that really can uh, move some things around in the city. We just mm -hmm. got to, you know, we just got to uh, support, support each other. Support each other. And I think it's going to happen. I mean, you just got a yeah. lot. You got a lot of people. You got big extra plug running around this thing. Yeah, crazy. Noise. Noise. So he, you know, when you start looking at the people that are tapped in, you know, uh, shout out to Erica Banks. You know, yeah. that whether you want to, uh, whether she loved Dallas or not, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she yeah. loved Dallas. She, 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 loved Dallas. Sick, she, she, took us, she took us to lunch on record, man. She off the clock on record. You know, and she and took us to took us to eat. You feel me? Yeah, we had yeah. that. Cool. We had girl by that. that. What did y'all say to him? <laughs> yeah, we, we said. Like, I said, hey, where your A and R at? Where is your A and R? And what did y'all say? What did she say? She like, no, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what did she say when y'all asked her about it? She said, she said, I'm sorry. She said, let's be. Real. She's, we don't bother talking about it. It's real talk. Real talk. She said like she loved Dallas. You know what I'm saying? She's just being real. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you're young and you coming up in the game and you don't have when you're a major star at, at her level, it, it came fast. You know what I'm saying? So not realizing like, hey, you got to know how to play the internet. You got to know how to answer certain questions. Sometimes you can't be too real and just say the first thing to come to your mind. You got to. Yeah. Sit and understand, like you got a whole city behind you. So when you say things like, "Hey," and she didn't realize her her microphone now, like she is perceived as the queen of, yeah, like the princess of Dallas. You know, say on the rap side, you know, saying mm -hmm. to make it that far to, to accomplish what she's accomplished. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? With the Holly Berry and all that. So she she ain't realized that. But mm -hmm. when we sat there, you know, what I'm saying took the gloves off, you know, from eating the crab legs. You know, what I'm saying like, sis, you feel me? 
She said, right. oh, okay. It was like one of them. You right. She you got right. at me one day about something that was said on here. Uh, yeah. You got to realize I picked her out early, man. Yeah. Like before, I always tell that story, but I'm going to pass by that. But she, she hit me up because somebody came on here and said something about it. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, that's a part of this, man. You know, mm-hmm. I can't control, you know, once you say something out there, these other people going to chime in. Mm-hmm. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's love. You know, we definitely love machines over here. And one thing you we, we definitely saying? try to do. If you come on this show and you say something um, about a Somebody. situation because it's your opinion and it's maybe you were in that situation, you were actually there, so it's your point of view. The other person can come on here and, and, and tell their side as well because exactly. and that's what we want. We don't want anything that's one-sided. said on our show to be one sided. Exactly. We always open our doors for the next person to come yeah, back so and you'll say, you know what, but this is my on here in a minute. <laughs> you done seen them on here. I know you already just what? seen them. Yeah, in tune. Yeah, in tune. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, we hope it's all love, but we can't control what people say behind these mics. Nigga get his chest stuck out out of here. Man, man look, Yeah, nigga, what boss else? Talk, man. Man. Boss talk, man. Boss talk. Boss talk, y'all got the cameras, they'll bring it out of here. Bring it out of here. I, I want to commend y'all, bro. I've been seeing y'all get heavy and heavy on the internet. Everybody I saw my Cal- in. Calamar came through. I was like, oh, damn, yeah, bro. That's my boy right there. Yeah, I don't Calamar. know. I got to drop his work. interview, too. I ain't even dropped his yet. Yeah. But yeah, it's a lot to it, though. He got a lot of elements, man. That guy, he been through a lot. I yeah. think a lot of times people don't realize people's a story, their backstories, you know, like when you start talking about single parenthood and, mm. you know, going to prison and all that stuff, it bring a lot out in a conversation. Facts. So yeah. I think that's something that we do a little bit more detailed than like a radio station where we get to really sit here and talk to you about like I could ask you like nigga you know what I'm saying you got any kids yeah yes sir how many you got I got one damn he like, girl I think I'm done too low, low sperm count <laughs> one are you done nah, I'm telling you what's got a low sperm count nah I'll pull out game you see stuff food. like that yeah <laughs> see, this is like then you start talking about it you know what I'm saying hey, look, how many you got I, I just had my first one this your first oh, one congratulations Huh? How old are you? I'm 31. 31. You yes, almost sir. didn't get it, huh? Man, almost, <laughs> I, try, I try to hold out till I was 33, to be yeah, honest. You I was don't like, want to be Jesus say you. Know? <laughs> purposely, he purposely did it. Boy, girl. A uh, girl. I got a little girl. Both of y'all are girl. girl. Yeah, the yeah. niggas can't push out uh, no yeah. boys, but it's I'm cool. Chilling. I'm it, chilling. Y'all, it, y'all it, gonna go it, broke. It you know, girls be emptying that pocket. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. yeah you ain't lying. Yeah. No. But um, let me ask you, both of you the same question. Um, Tell me something that happened to you back in the past somewhere down there that made you into the man that you are today. I like to hear people about their struggles and stuff like that because there are people who are watching the show that are going through something maybe similar or the same exact thing that you already been through and you overcame. And they might not see their outcome yet. You know what I mean? And they might turn to something like suicide or whatever. So anyhow, we can help somebody, we try to. So start off with you. Um, I would say uh, when I was about, uh, so... Yeah, yeah, I want to say when I was about six, um, my mom got kidnapped by this guy she was dating. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And um, man, I woke up. Um, I'm like, I'm five, five or six years old. I wake up, I look at my mom's room, I see the, the glass broken and blood all over the ground, and wow. I'm just screaming out for my mom. Like, I, I, the door is wide open, and so I'm just in the house alone. And and man, somehow uh, my mom was gone for like two days and uh somehow she ended up getting away i'm at a grocery store she slid somebody a letter like hey this guy's kidnapped me um whoopty whoopty whoop call the police x y and z so um i i once i i thought i would have lost my mom you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't grew up without, without uh my mom and that and we were a single parent you know what i'm saying so it was just like that brought it out of me to be like yo i gotta get it i gotta make it i can't even be regular like this this he could have came and killed the family you know what i'm saying it's just me and my mom and and Luckily, she's still here today, but that pushed my drive to be like, man, I got to conquer. I can conquer anything. We can get past anything. We can um, boost my drive to go out and really make some of myself. You know what I'm saying? What was your father? Huh? What was your father? Uh, I I don't know. You Uh, never met him? I I didn't meet my father until I was uh, uh, 19 19? in college. Yeah. Yeah, He just decided to show up. Uh, you, you know, know, he must have thought you were going to get a scholarship and go to go pro or something. Where this nigga at? Oh, man. Now, he's a good dude, though. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, where's he at? Um, he's in Louisiana. I mean, he said, why are you, where are you being? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you know asked him that you know question. He was, he, he was in the Army overseas. You know what I'm saying? He just got back, like, I want to say, like, five years five years ago. He's been back in the uh, States. But from, yeah, that time on, he had a lot of kids, bro. It's like, it's like nine of A Rolling us. Stone. Yeah, he, hmm. so he has a lot of kids, bro. So he went to the Army and was been overseas, like, for the longest. But once... We started tapping in. It was all love, and you know I understood. You no, know, being a young man, you wild, you going, you hitting different type of women. 
Oh um, man, <laughs> life happens. But literally, did your did your mom know the person who kidnapped her? Uh, yeah, she was she was dating him. It was like she was dating, dating, oh, dating, dating him. him. Yeah, so she told. So him she, she didn't see the signs and all of that stuff. Uh, man, she she did. You know, what I'm saying like, you know, my mom just grew up. I don't know. It was just bad choices in man. You know, what I'm saying my mom. I, I I seen my mom get beat up a lot. You know, what I'm saying by different um, individuals. So it was just one of those things to where we didn't know it was going to lead to that. How you know did that saying? affect your relationships as you got older? Um, I know I never wanted to see that growing up. So I know the women I chose or who I was with, I just knew like, hey, I, I stay away from toxic women. Um, stay, you know what I'm saying? Be, you don't need to put yourself in no situation to go that route. And I never want to see that. And I can't respect a dude or anything that, that does that because I grew up seeing that and, you know, just being terrified and not being able to do nothing about mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? At a young age. So yeah, that definitely hard in my heart to man. I'm going to go out, change my life and get to it. And yeah. you? Man, yeah, I'm still, still, still. That nigga went hard, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, compete, yeah, can yeah, you, nigga? Yeah, 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 shut it down. You I know, the little weak watered down, down story, nigga. You ain't got nothing for us, dude. Yeah, just my say daddy course, used to. Yeah. My daddy, he uh, didn't come back from the store one day. <laughs> yeah, nigga. What you got? Out there in the cold, dog. <laughs> nah, man, my pops in heaven, man. I just been crying, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm he a PK for real. There we go. They know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, my mom too. All of them up there. Man, those. At the end of the day, you know. um um, but but that's a situation in itself. How old was you when you lost your father? Uh, I'm 32. That happened like 20, 27, 26. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. I became a dad. Lost my dad like in the same eight yeah. months. See, all wow. this stuff matters, yeah. man. Like like, but you at least got to spend that time with yeah. him, right? Yeah. yeah I that's know a dope yeah. part. Yeah. I mean, it's just so having that in mind, I know he ain't get that at all. That's right. Know, at all. Then like, I got a brother locked down right now. You know what I'm saying? And another brother. So your brother on lock? Yeah, on lock. So, he just came home. He can't look crazy. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? He, and this is, I don't even trust Came home nobody. and flipped flip that Came home, did, yeah, came, no, came home, did what we supposed to do, and we came home like pandemic hit, you know what I'm saying, like 2020 when everybody had to go in the house, you know what I'm saying, put they, put their gloves on and go in the store with the man. He came home like the, the weekend of the whole country shutting down. So it been gone four years, come home, and it's like, damn, I can't even get outside. <laughs> like everybody, when I went in, everybody, you can't wear no mask and no uh, no gloves. Not everybody wearing them. So man, it's just, don't feel bad, man. You know, my partner, he didn't even make it from home. He messed up and was right back in there before he could even make it to the house. <laughs> them niggas be, them, hey, it's hard out here sometimes. Yeah, nah, for sure. Yeah, especially when you're trying to figure it all out again. How long was he gone the first time? Uh, four, four years. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like the only child who was like raised in the household with the same mom, same dad. But they got divorced like she was fifth grade. So I, but I was the only son. You know, I had yeah. all seven kids to yeah. really get the whole fatherhood treatment. You feel yeah. me? So yeah, so now when it's time to do, you know what I'm saying? I'm a junior, same name and everything. You feel me? So, but he always told me, man, I don't even want to say his own, own go world. Go but, go but, say but like go St. Louis and East St. Louis, like we rock with St. Louis and East St. Louis, but bro, we don't really rock with East St. Louis like that. You but know, you know shout out to Chingy. Yeah, yeah, Chingy. Yeah, he pretty crazy. You don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, we rock with. I had to. I don't to, know. Like, I don't know what happened. Yeah, there. yeah. Well, I rock with Raw Reese. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. the high. Y'all high. had Nelly. Yeah, Chingy. Chingy was a little different than Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a lot of stuff out there on these media ways, man. man. I don't know. I don't know if it's true. I don't know. You know something? Man. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> man. Shout out to that boy Chingy, man. For real, for real, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. It just, I don't know what it is, though, bro. Say it a little bit. What's the food? that Y'all like that barbecue Chinese, up barbecue, there, too. Chinese, that's the best barbecue in the world. Yeah, but mm. you you know you know that it ain't that damn good. A lot of cow. Oh, man. <laughs> Now you know what I ain't even had St. Louis barbecue as long as we been rocking. I ain't even. Uh, yeah, I ain't even I been ain't up there. True, it's, it's, it's he messy. tell me all the time, but I don't know, man. I had some good Texas. We barbecue. came through that. We went fast. We didn't want to stop. Man, Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. Ooh. Top three. Yours first. Number Top one. Oh. First, I'm gonna go Come on, uh, my nigga. Ludacris. Oh, number two. Uh, the top back. First, yeah, all time. Then a lot. Any genre. Any genre. Dang, go to him. Go to him next, man. No, 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 no. no, no. All right, let me get Luda. Let me get uh, let me get uh, let me get let me get Pop. Okay. Okay. And uh, third, let me get um, versatile. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Missy Elliott. Okay. Cool. Yeah, Where are you from? St. Louis. Look at them. Now, yeah, it was bad choice. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn, I mean, got your verse too. I gotta grow up. What I what I grew up on, uh, Lil Wayne, Jay Z, and uh, man, my third one would be like I like I like Drake. The, uh, nah, J Cole. Mm. I rocks with J Cole. So early, you take Drake over J Cole over Drake? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Man, the early J Cole man with the punchlines. Yeah, nigga, man, whatever. Go, go. Who your top three? 
I ain't telling you. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my show. I'm not telling y'all nothing. <laughs> yeah, this ain't the damn radio station. Y'all think y'all have 97.9 to beat, nigga. Y'all not for the run this right here, nigga. Y'all man, think y'all get on out. Boss Talk 101 and run my damn speakers, nigga? These my <laughs> damn microphones. Y'all niggas came over here thinking y'all for the run so. <laughs> nigga know y'all got all oh, them damn. damn people watching y'all every day. And what time y'all come on? Man, three to seven. Three, three to seven. seven. Y'all in there won't play niggas music. I already oh, know. We don't want to do it. No, okay, well, who is the newest? Hottest artist right now, nigga. That big they know. Big text, big text. And thing is, big text, big text. Okay, big text. But like, biggest thing is, and C4S, you feel me? Real talk. Mm -hmm. They got the internet. Yeah, nigga, you just said yeah, that they, they got you over nah. here on my damn show. <laughs> 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 but look, I've been rocking with old boy Prince. Fat Al. I've been around with Fat Al. Yeah, he told me that. I've been, he I've told been me that. Yeah, so. He sat up here and told me that because he had to go to bat for y'all. He was like, E, man, don't be like that, man. I know you be. Let him come on, man. I said, who are these niggas, man? He said, man, he, he, he's good, man. These niggas is good. I said, man, I don't care, nigga. I don't know them niggas, man. <laughs> That's but, the first but, thing he said. He but, told me. He said, I don't know these niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> but at it's the end of the day, I just like to get y'all hell. That's what we need, man. We need something real in the city, man. Nah, for real. I appreciate you guys, man. Make sure you guys uh really look out for those youngsters, man. Y'all God put y'all in position. Don't mm -hmm. be don't be fake and be aggressive. Walk in that office and ask nigga, man, we need to play some of these local people music sometimes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Else I'm going over there and get my own pot. And interview people. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, take the spot on interviews, man. Get the damn phone out. Quit being scary. Y'all yeah. need to deal with these people in a way that it, it eventually it'll benefit y'all. Nah, for sure. Okay? And so, nice. look at that. Look, that's why we wanted to come up in here, just to shed light on, you know what I'm saying, things that people may not know about the radio or stuff that, you know, what it really takes, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just information. Because I feel like, again, like with Dallas, it's the structure. People don't know what to do or how to do it, you know what I'm saying, or what's important or what gets them and these people faces that we can vouch for them and go up the bat for them, you know what I'm saying? So, and just how this whole thing works. You sound real professional, but let me just be real with you right quick, man. <laughs> a lot of niggas is talking about you radio folk. Hot Boy West, according to what I'm hearing, the radio is yeah. what got him noticed and got him a deal. They say the radio stations were pushing for him down there. Certain people is really talking about that and say that the radio stations are not helping people in Dallas like that. Yeah, I'm just being real. Like, they don't put the some music do out there. They don't holler how do these people name out and really go hard for these people. Y'all could change this city, man. Check this out. Hey, this don't is, let these boys make it. 80% of the music I hear, people like, hey, check this out. Let me hear this. Play this. I'm going to give you the ear because our report card is what you go off of. You know what I'm okay. saying? My report card, I gave Erica Banks her first interview. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I vouch for, for Mo3 on, 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 on a couple songs. You know what I'm saying? But everything, this is what I'm saying, the buckle what I'm saying, everything don't transfer over to a radio type of song. Yes, it go hard. Yes, you hit. Yes, you gave me the dirty version, and I'm a radio person. You still send it to me anyway without the EPK. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you're trying to get out of it, huh? You know, I ain't trying to get out of nah, it, but. Nigga, what about the clean version you get? Nigga, I'm going to yeah, be listening. They're going to be nigga. hard. They got to be trans. They got transfer over. You know what I'm saying? At first, broken broke love on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, because it, it took a little while for for three to get back to that hook before Kevin Gates got on. So, it, it, it's, 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 it's a matician, matitionary. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah well, I can just tell you right now, we got to make sure that we. Understand the algorithm of where things are today, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got to try to figure it out in a way to where it makes sense for the masses. Our people need your help, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we got a lot of work to do. People watching, all right. Sure. Say, man, when y'all number four and Houston is number what? Number six. Uh, Ald, did you hear that? Houston <laughs> number six, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's love, yeah, man. It's yeah, love, Houston it's number love. six. <laughs> man, love. hold up, man. But now nah, I appreciate you guys, man. Yeah. Big love. Yes, sir. Anything else you got for? I just had one more question. Damn. <laughs> Up to us. Up to us. Yeah. No, I wanted to know, have y'all ever had um, a celebrity come in that y'all were just like speechless? Yeah. yeah. It changed our lives. Changed our lives right now. That's yeah. why we the one nine eleven show. Like my shirt say, like who was like, that person? Was Juicy J. Juicy J. You feel me? Like 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 I talked to Juicy J. Like 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 a pro officer. Like he don't. He like that Ratchet Coochie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, we made we made a song. We, we got like said, five points. Yeah, the good Juicer J, he liked like that. that yeah, shit. find one, get behind one. We yeah. got about five point eight million. He the nigga, he nigga that busy throw the mic at. Yeah. yeah, I know about that nigga. Hey, Versus Juicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three six five here, man. What time for Juicy, man? That's so he changed our life, huh? For, real. for sure, for sure, man. What? You, well, how he changed our life? Um, shoot, pretty much, man. We was at a club. Um, I, I, you you probably heard about it, but uh, we we has got this club hot, a uh, club prime. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? That was up not too long ago. So um, we used to be in a club, and he'll be rocking it, man. So. He used, I mean, I don't know if you ever heard him in a club, but his voice, boy, he can get people to move. Like this is like mm -hmm. one of the top MCs I've ever heard, bro. And he uh, he used to say this thing where like, man. 
find one, get behind one. Like you send the girl, the, the fellas to find a chick and get behind one because it was a lot of dudes that be too cool standing against the wall and stuff. So he'd be like, man, find one, get behind one, find one, get the behind one. And I'll see this chant. And I'm as a DJ, like he's around dancing on stage and stuff, but as a DJ, I'm watching the crowd get in tune with what he's saying. So I'm like, bro, we got to turn this into a song. Like, we in the club and we on the radio at the same time. Get on live broadcast. Yeah, I ain't never did talk on the radio with the live broadcast ever in my life. So I got through on some fire. Then he played that, that, that black youngster booty. The two two shake that booty. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to entertain these people who in the room, 300 people, and it's like 3 million people listening on a Saturday night. So I'm like, find one, get behind one. But but P, we need some booties in motion. Uh. Hey, we need some booties in motion. Yeah, mm -hmm. find one, get behind one. So this went on for like nine months. And Digital Norm, I'm say when him and Lil Ronnie went on tour, they would be using that chant to start off they set. So mm -hmm. shout, out, shout out to Lil Ronnie, shout out to Digital Norm, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, man, y'all need to make a beat off that. Y'all need to make that. And we can't play everything on the radio as we get, you know what I'm saying, copyrighted French. Right. So it just so happened we had finally sat still around November, you know what I'm saying, two years ago, and we made the beat from scratch. Right. From the, you know what I'm saying? And fast forward, it was the beat in my file. I'm like, we call it B-I-M, Booties in Motion. We need some mm. Booties in Motion. The next day, the next day that we made the beat, like we made the beat at my house, like in my room, me and my co-producer, uh, shout out to uh, my guy Lotus, before, yeah. uh, before Quattro. And bro, we made that beat in about 20 minutes. Um, and like I said, the next day, the Juicy next J day, came in for, Juicy J he was, came in he was, for was, a promo. Was, the song Neighbors, it just came out. He was doing mm -hmm. a promo with Travis Scott. I'm interviewing, we going. I know I'm wrapping up the interview 19 minutes later, and it's a whole interview on camera, film. I'm like, man, I'm just trying to give him a rap or something for, for, for content, you know what I'm saying? And like, I gotta go on my email, find a beat. That I can't go on YouTube, copyright, but I got this beat in my email. I'm like, oh, damn, let me just play this. I played the beat, and come on. He's like, mm. he's like, mm, what's this? I'm like, oh, this? It's called B.I.M., you know what I'm saying? We need some booties in motion. Yeah, we need some booty. Find one, get behind one. Send it to him. He was like, oh, this hard. I'm gonna get on there. We was about this length apart. He said, I'm gonna get on there, this hard. I said, yeah. Ranch over, shook his hand, shake my hand. Like this. It was a, it was a, like, it was a, it was a, it was a N I G G A type of like, you sure? He, he said, thought, he, thought it was bullshit. Yeah, he said, yo, Tim. And he did it. He did it. About two days up, later. Yeah, two whole, verses. Two verses. And a hook. Wow. And a hook. The whole, he did the whole song. Yeah, we went to LA, LAX, floor out there, boom. Shot the video, came back. Yeah, 5.8 million views right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. That's shit. awesome. Yeah. And I started not let you niggas on my show. I don't give a damn about y'all views, nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I it? seen that. I said, wait a minute, nigga. Jabbing? Wait a minute. Yeah, yes. Love, nigga, y'all got five. I ain't even know, nigga. I, yeah, I'm crazy over here with it. Man. But I can't believe y'all. I like to miss out. You see how niggas just mm -hmm. pushing niggas on me and I'm finally getting and, this blessing? And look, we, we dropped our album and like this is helping out the city and we just want to bring people aware of what we're doing and using our platform. So we just dropped the album in, uh, in January and our album consists of Dallas local artists and mainstream artists that we built relationships with and we collab with them. So that's like our thing, what we're doing. We're taking artists and we making actual hits mm -hmm. and songs with these local artists, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. that's our movement. That's just how we giving back to the city. You're just trying to make it work, you know what I'm saying? That's big. Y'all got Juicy J on that dang song like yeah. that. Project yeah, Pat, so. we got Project Pat too on it. Yeah, yeah, we got Project Pat on it. Lil Ronnie, Erica Banks, Project Pat. Oh, you one. know, them niggas the only one got an Oscar, man. Yeah. yeah. Y'all yeah. niggas some, special. <laughs> man, that's yeah. hey, that Juicy God tell us all the time, man. Y'all so special, trying to, bro. So God what y'all doing to capitalize off of it, man? Deters the city. That's what we doing. DTC It's the first album, you know what I'm saying? We just really, we, we on the radio, so we can't even really work it as artists. So that's, so, yeah, that's, that's the thing. So we, uh, we're on the radio, so it's time yeah. to, now we're trying to find that way of being on the radio. Better figure it out. Yeah, yeah, you you nigga better figure it out. Opportunity to miss, miss you, nigga. You better try to, hey, man, listen, man. You, you don't miss our opportunity, nigga. Y'all crazy. Yeah, man. for sure. Yeah. Man. Niggas want, nigga, be. This versus that. Figure it out. Facts, you better go facts. make another beat. Yeah, for real. You know, the place was yeah. everything. The place was everything. Hey, man, check it, man. Hey, man, thank y'all for coming on the show, so man. Thank you, bro. We love you, brothers, having man. I think, hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Anytime. Like I said, it, it, this ain't the last time. I'm going to bring y'all on here to tell some more lies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't going to do y'all like that. Y'all sure. niggas like to do, yeah, y'all done lied to me. I'm going to look that song. If it ain't got 5.8 million. 5.8. Five, eight. Five, eight. Eight. Five, eight. Eight. I'm buying lunch for a week straight. I'm buying a week straight. Say, man, thank you guys, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And Run the yeah. intro back. Run the intro back. You yeah, know that? <laughs> that was hard, bro. You like that? I love that, bro. <laughs> so, you know, you push song, Boss Talk. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You should hear the whole thing. It's oh, so hard. Man. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's how I go down, man. Y'all get the hell out of here. Let's let your boys and you, Nigos.